Welcome back to The Breakdown with Luke. Today we're diving into a flexible solar panel. This is a 40 watt solar panel, which is enough to max charge your phone and other devices with this. Uh, we're gonna break down what this is capable of charging, what it's not, why you may want this, and more. Now, I started picking up solar panels like this when I lived in Texas, because we live close enough to golf that sometimes hurricanes would become a problem. Um, now I live more in tornado area where uh, maybe a tornado is going to knock out our power for an extended period of time. In today's world, having your phone and other devices powered and able to work, really helpful. And that's where these solar panels come in. Now we're going to look at the pros and cons of this, break it all down, let you know what I think. First though, a few disclaimers. This was not a review unit. I did buy it myself to review for you. Second, pricing on this changes so rapidly, I got it on a really good deal. It was on Amazon, that's why I grabbed it. But I'll put a link to this in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. You can find it there on Amazon. If I happen to not answer a question you may have, leave me a comment, let me know. I'll do my best to answer it in the comments. Lastly, if you could help us, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Just hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do so YouTube recommends our videos to more people. With that said, let's dive into it. Now, right off the bat, you got this little box on the back of it. This box right here will be your outs. So you have um, a DC out plug if you have a sport device for that, USB C out, and a USB. So you're not going to be charging many devices at once with this, but 40 watts. It's pretty nice that you'd be able to max charge most phones on the market. I know there are a few phones from Samsung, for example, that take more. iPhone 15, Pixel 8 Pro, and the like will max charge through that. Now, this is a pretty big charging panel here. It's got uh, five, or excuse me, six. I counted that wrong when I first did panels like this that lays out. It does come with carabiner hooks. So you can lay it vertically and hang it on these hooks here, maybe on a tree face it towards the sun to get maximum amount of charge out of it. Now, this is not like some other ones I've uh, reviewed that have like waterproof. I'm sure this seems to be pretty waterproof, but this is a pretty standard little one. Kind of just locks it like this, no zipper, no nothing with it. Now, it is pretty small though, easy to transport, easy to throw in a backpack if you're boondocking or other things with it. It's flexible, it's not hard, which is great because uh, some of the harder ones will crack with that. But let's now take a look at everything that came with this as I talk about a few pros and cons to this. Starting off with its 40 watts max, which means if you plug in two devices, you're not necessarily getting 40 watts. Now, I would buy this, for example, to recharge phones, maybe my daughter's Nintendo Switch, because if we're stuck in the house after a major storm and don't want her to go outside because of debris or other issues, maybe I'll want that. But it's a pretty nice little backup here. I can lay in the back deck, charge up some devices, I would count this as a device that, or a solar panel really focused on phones, tablets, wireless earbuds. Maybe you have a, a internal battery powered uh, rechargeable radio. Probably should keep one of those around still to this day. Well, cell phone towers have their own generators. A radio, uh, radio is also a good way to get information. This could be a great charge for this. It's definitely a large panel for 40 watts. I've had similar ones that were smaller, but the price of this was very good. The quality of it seems to be good. It did successfully max charge my Pixel 8 Pro. It did successfully max charge my Nintendo Switch, wireless earbuds, iPad, and the like without issues. I would consider this a very good um, solar panel, especially if you get it on sale. Beyond that, there's not a whole lot to say. It's a solar panel. You Lay it out in the sun, direct sun, best facing towards the sun as much as possible. You plug in your devices and it charges. There's no internal battery here. You could though plug this into an external battery pack if you have one of the many I've reviewed over the years and use that to recharge during the day your battery pack. So at night, use your battery pack to charge your devices. That's one way to do it. 40 watts is a good power here that can quickly charge most phones. I'm gonna give this two thumbs up few things. Just keep in mind, this isn't going to be running your fridge. This isn't going to allow you to turn on the washer or dryer. This will make sure your portable electronics have power if you're boondocking. Make sure you can always call for an emergency. Or if you hit, um, like I did, part of a standard emergency kit. So if you do end up in a bad tornado, earthquake, hurricane, or wherever it may be, you know you always have a backup power supply that won't run out as long as you can get um, some sunlight. So I'll put a link to this in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. If you have a question I didn't answer, leave me a comment, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll be back again soon.